بِاسْمِ رَبِّكَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ عَلَقٍ Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Ramadan time. Alhamdulillah, it is another day of Ramadan and I hope everybody is doing good deeds, reading the Quran, um, doing ibadah, doing dhikr and etc. Here it is an activity for you to do. Write a thank you letter to someone who you love very much, such as your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, anyone who you value and you love them and you find them special. Doing this, they will understand that you still have a place for them in your heart and you still value them and appreciate what they have done for you. Let's move on to the good deed of the day. The good deed of the day. Visit your grandparents. It is such a blessing to have grandparents. Give them a visit to show you love I them. Have, I want to have grandparents. Yes, we can visit them today. <laughs> Give them a visit to show that you love them and care about them. It will mean the world to them. Samiha, mm -hmm. you know that the Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, Whoever wishes that his provision be increased and his age lengthened, let him maintain the ties of kinship. Okay. okay. <laughs> now let's move on to Hadith. An Abi Bakra radiallahu anhu kala kala rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala unabbi'ukum bi akbaril kabair. قُلْنَا بَلَا يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ قَالَ الْإِشْرَاكُ بِاللَّهِ وَعُقُوقُ الْوَالِدَيْنِ وَكَانَ مُتَّكِئًا فَجَلَسَ فَقَالْ أَلَا وَقَوْلُ الزُّورِ وَشَهَادَةُ الزُّورِ أَلَا وَقَوْلُ الزُّورِ وَشَهَادَةُ الزُّورِ فَمَا زَالَ يَقُولُهَا حَتَّى قَلْتُ لَا يَسْكُتْ Narrated Abu Bakr رضي الله عنه the Prophet وسلم, said thrice, Should I inform you about the greatest of the great sins? They said, Yes, O Allah's Messenger. He said, 1. To join others in worship with Allah. 2. To disobey parents. The Prophet then sat up after he had been reclining on a pillar and said, 3. And I warn you against giving a lying speech, false statement, and he kept on saying that warning till we thought he would not stop. So, Samiha, one of the three greatest of the great sins is to join others in worship with Allah, to disobey parents, and to give a lying speech or false statement. Okay? We should not do any of those things, okay? Because they are very, very big sins. Now let's have a look at the lessons of this hadith. Number one, Rasulullah would sometimes give direct guidance and advice to his companions. Mm -hmm. Number two, we should not associate partners with Allah or disobey our parents. Number three, we should always encourage each other to be supportive and helpful. Now let's move on to the discussion section. That's this discussion. Okay. Now, Samiha, I'm going to ask you a few questions and you're going to answer them, okay? But I don't know that. Just have a little try, okay? Okay. Number one, from this hadith, what are the three things that we learnt not to do? Um, the daughter? No. Um, we should not associate partners with Allah, disobey our parents, or give a lying speech or false statement, okay? Okay. Number two, what should we do if our parents ask us to do something? We have to do an activity. <laughs> no, we should listen to what they said, okay? We should not disobey our parents because that is a major sin. Yeah. Number three, if we saw something bad happening at the school playground and the teacher asks us about it, what should we tell them? We should tell them... Um, the park is not good. 
<laughs> no, we should tell them the actual situation that happened in the playground. So, Samiha, for example, if you saw someone hurting another person and the teacher asks you about it, you should tell them the exact thing that you saw. Yeah. Yeah. And if someone knocks you down and if someone pushes you down... And then you should tell the teacher. Yeah. If you knock you down by yourself and if you push you push down yourself, then you have to tell the teacher yourself. <laughs> now let's move on to Sora Learning Time! So Samiha, yesterday I taught you Sora Al Kalthar. Can you say it by yourself? Yes I can. Okay, start please. A'uja billahi mina shaitanir rajeem Bismillahi rahman rahim So, I'll... No. Start with inna. Inna a'ta inna kal kawwal Fasalli bibo bikol khar Inna shani ka huwala abtal Can you say it again but without me saying the mistake? Inna Inna a'ta inna kal kawwal Fasalli bibo bikol khar Inna shani ka huwala abtal Well done Samiha I'm very very proud of you You have learnt so many sores so far I have learnt Four sores. Four sores? No, three. <laughs> Should I tell you? Yeah. You have learnt seven sores, mashallah. Seven? Yeah, she has learnt seven sores. I'm so happy. I want to read another sore. <laughs> yes, you're going to read another sore tomorrow, okay? Okay. Okay, now we have finished the video. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. But before we go, we need to tell you something. You can teach your your big sister or your big brother or your baby brother or your baby sister. And that is all we want to say to you. Assalamu alaikum everyone. <laughs>